few days ago I posted a video of me playing the canon in D and wow, so many of you hated the song. Now let's be clear, it's not that you hated my arrangement even though some of you didn't like the way I played it. But it's mainly about disliking the song. Some of you think that the canon ED is too simple, overrated, overplayed, and it became this kind of a popular wedding song that we hear so many times. And now every time you play the canon ED, there is always someone saying, It sounds like memories from Maroon 5. To the world. Now, is the canon ED overplayed? Absolutely. And, you know, I agree with that. And I'm guilty of that because I love this piece and I played all the time. Now forget all this chit chat about loving and hating the song. I think it's a great piece of music that will definitely challenge your creativity and your technique. In the arrangement that I recorded a few days ago, I had to play over the same chord progression 15 times. And you have to come up with variations that actually work within the same context. It's like you start slow and then you develop all these musical ideas until you get to this climax. And then you go back as it started. Now, why am I one of these people who don't hate the canon in the Well, you have to make it interesting, especially if you play it, you kind of have to change it up a little bit. So my goal is not to create and, you know, kind of play the same arrangement that Packabelt composed. So, of course, we start with the same chord progression, right? We got the D major, A, B minor, and F sharp minor, G, D major, and G, and A. So the first thing you notice is that I try to make it sound a little bit more modern. Like, you know, I'm not trying to replicate the exact same chord progression with the same voicings. And I think it's really important to really put your creativity into these chords. Now, what do we do next? We play the main theme, which is lovely. Now, of course, we are playing a guitar, so we can't really sustain the notes just like a violin does. So the second time we play the melody again, maybe we can change it up a little bit, we can make it more rhythmic, and we can already add more notes. Honestly, I like it. It sounds nice, it's sweet, not too difficult, beautiful thing to play. Um, and you know, you don't have to make it super difficult. Now, of course, level three is going to be slightly different. I came up with this idea in thirds. I'm already injecting more rhythm and you can actually almost hear the chords. So I'm not trying to just noodle around over the chords. I'm actually trying to come up with a melody that can outline the chords. Now, section five and six are actually from the uh, Canon Indie, which I love. But again, I always try to personalize it a little bit. Level seven is my favorite. It's an awesome exercise, beautiful way of playing the chords, and we really move away from the original canon. It sounds like this. In 
this example, we really try to keep the same melodic and harmonic idea. And I'm playing the chords as well as a melody. So we're gonna try to keep the same chord structure as well as the same melodic structure. So we got the chord, and then the melody. Chord, and melody. Chord, melody, and chord. Melody, chord, melody, and chord, melody, chord, chord, and melody. Now the next level is really, really interesting. In fact, I was trying to emulate a violin. So I was trying to play all these arpeggios on each single chord. I'm breaking down uh, each chord note by note. And it is quite challenging, but it turned out to be a beautiful section. You can really hear each single chord. So you got D, A, B minor, and F sharp minor, G major, D, G, and the A. And we connect this section with the climax of this piece. I am fully aware that I'm not playing the canon in the note by note. I'm always changing the melody slightly, even though this is my favorite section and coming from all these arpeggios, this uh, melody is just a beautiful thing to play. We made it to the top of the mountain, now we're gonna climb down. And we're gonna start with this very simple section. We are literally outlining the chords with a simple arpeggio. We still have a few more sections to go, but it's clear that we are heading towards the outro. This section is actually from the uh, canon. Last two levels, go back playing the melody and then the chords.
Now, of course, you can download the backing track and the tab on my Patreon page. Um, you can also listen to the uh, original arrangement that I recorded a few days ago. You're going to find it in the description down below. So if you want to learn it, make sure that you get on my Patreon page and download the tab and the backing track. Now, I'm going to give you to practice this beautiful, beautiful Canon in D. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you soon.